Hello everyone, my name is Sangeeta Pedro. I'm a naturopathic doctor uh, working in Mill Valley, California. I wanted to give a brief little talk today about what to expect when you start natural or functional medicine treatment, especially if you're dealing with any kind of gut treatment. Like in my practice, I do a lot of yeast overgrowth treatment and parasite treatment and SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And there are a lot of symptoms, especially with parasites, and yeast that can be very uncomfortable as you start to have what we call die-off symptoms. And I often get emails and phone calls saying, I'm, I'm, I feel so awful, what's going on? I must be having an allergic reaction to the supplement or the medication. And typically what you're experiencing is a die-off reaction. And with yeast and parasites in particular, you get a lot of toxin release as they die, and those toxins have to be removed from the body. So the liver has to ramp up its detox capacity, and that can take a few days. There's a little bit of a lag time. So there are tips and tricks to get through those few days, but some of the symptoms you might experience are headaches of any kind, either increase or new, uh, feeling really just fatigued overall and run down, almost like you're getting the flu. People can have swollen glands, but they're not really getting sick, um, especially these glands here on the neck. Any kind of skin reaction, so if you had rashes, they might get worse. You might get rashes out of the blue. And very commonly, just skin itching, but no rash at all anywhere on the body. Uh, joint pain is also really common, especially if that's something that someone already experiences. Joint pain will get worse, maybe roam around from joint to joint for a few days. And then with gut treatment, you might experience any worsening of symptoms or new symptoms. So people often will get heartburn or reflux that they've never had or that's worse. That's very common, especially with yeast. Um, bloating of any kind, excessive burping, gas, IBS symptoms of either spec end of the spectrum. So constipation, diarrhea, alternating between them, urgency with stools. These are all very common die-off symptoms. And sometimes if the overgrowth is very high and the treatment is very strong, the die-off might be too much. And so you can talk to your doctor and you can lower the dose a little bit. You can ramp up the doses of things that are helping you to detoxify and get this stuff out of the body. Um, I even often have patients stop all of the killing medications or herbs for a couple of days, let their body catch up and start again. Um, you can take baths and saunas and all kinds of external things to help with these die-off symptoms. But keep in mind that this is a normal part of how the body writes itself, how it comes back into balance by getting these things out of the body that are in the way, removing the toxins. And especially with yeast and parasites, it can be very uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be for too long. It should be for a few days, maybe a little bit of pain here, and then you feel better, and then maybe a little more. If the pain is getting consistently worse and worse and worse, or the symptoms are worsening with no improvement, then definitely call up your doctor and, and get some help. But a lot of times what is needed is to just kind of push through the discomfort. And once you get to the other side, you are going to feel so much better. So just hang in there check in with your practitioner, make those minor adjustments, and when you get to the other side, you are gonna be so surprised at how good you feel. Let us know if we can help you in any way, and happy healing.